two trains, two chapters to tell. One runs hot and fast. The other lumbers slow. Cold cast in Wilford's iron grip. An armored tortoise plodding after a hare. Everyone under a single thumb, serving a single obsession to retake the pirates and exact his revenge. Smell them. Layton took my engine through here about a month ago, judging by the ice buildup. Practically on their heels. <laughs> you see? Like old footprints in the snow. So let's switch for the South Fork, engineer. We'll get it back to whatever it takes. It's a backwards world. Only one class now. The working class. Freezing, stitching, fixing, suffering. But frostbitten fingers hold fast. Deep in the iced over bowels where Wilford never treads. A spark still lives. The resistance. Nurtured and protected by the bravest of the brave. Message for the tippity top. I didn't hear the password, Mr. Pike. I expect more from my second in command. <laughs> they picked up sign of Snowpiercer. We turned south, back on the main line. Oh, thank God for that. This is the first proof we've had that they are still alive in 32 days. They must, they must have their reasons for all this traipsing about. I mean, if Melanie's aboard, we don't know. You ever think, Ruth, all alone down here at night, that since Leighton bailed on us in the first place, he might never come back? No, I don't. And neither do you, or you wouldn't be in the resistance. <laughs> so, antibiotics for the seamstresses. They'll need them all jammed up together in that sweatshop. <sighs> These little things that will keep us sane, Mr. Pike. The passengers can survive all of this if we can ease their journey. Keep them ready for Mr. Layton's return. The heart of hope still beats aboard Wilford's rolling gulag. 1,023 cars long. <laughs> <laughs> 